just need a rock and a girl, and that gimmick gets you Mystical Sand, which is a pretty big beater. Also, she looked good. What up? David here with Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. This is a game I've been wanting to let's play forever. Like, since Darkful 99 forever. However, it's really hard for- and it's very tedious in some ways, but we're playing it today because I got a secret, which I'm going to share with you in a moment. In, 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 in a minute. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna put in our name. This is a fun, underrated gem of a game. But my name... What the? Oh, no. <laughs> it's Dave. Oh, what's... Your name is Dave. Your duelist code has been recorded. You cannot duel or trade with the same duelist code. We've done it. Oh, okay. Hey, let's not remind the viewers how I am very fairly playing this game, and... Uh, uh, hi, look, it's Haishin! This is it. I found it at last. The forbidden treasure of ancient sorcerers. I am Egyptian, but for some reason I sound vaguely Russian. Ha 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 ha! Lipsless. <laughs> Alright. This man is cackling! Alright, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. So, as the retro arc has decreed, <laughs> I am playing this game in interesting- via interesting means. However, there's a reason I'm playing this game via interesting means. Because I do own it. However, you have a royal- <laughs> why is everyone Russian? You are of royal blood, walking the city streets dressed as a commoner. Have you no shame? Quite frankly, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Run away. Wait, stop my prince! Drat, he's gone. Alright. However, we won't be gone for long because that is Simon, and we gotta say hi. <laughs> so we're just gonna skulk around the palace. So I am a prince. I'm. You're basically a Tem. You're Yugi. Yami Yugi. Prince Dave, you've returned. It is well into the night. Please return to the palace. Dear prince, if you still wish to play cards, then try your hand against me. If you lose, you must return to your room. I'm sure you will find me a worthy opponent. Yeah, let's duel! Ho, ho, ho. My dear prince, I taught you the game. You don't really think you're going to win, do you? Prepare yourself. Okay, we're gonna kick this man's ass. And he's blue! I, I, I'm not racist, I'm just <laughs> pointing it out. So let's take a look at my dick. Oh, we got Raigeki. So the game starts you with either Raigeki or Dark Hole because it doesn't want to leave you high and dry. But Raigeki is better because Dark Hole eats your monsters. I'm liking this deck. We've got a lot of pieces of things that we need. However, we're missing something that I'd really like. However, we got <laughs> we got equip spells for bugs, and we have like no bugs. Okay, we got two bugs. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We need dragons. <laughs> Stat. However, I'm going to deal with what the- I'm gonna deal with the hand I'm dealt. I saw a lot of machines and a lot of- yeah, we got zombies, we got plants, and we've got machines. We're gonna- hopefully we're gonna get some thunders later on. But for now, this is pretty good. I'll- I guess I'll just try my fusions. I think we're gonna get a zombie warrior? No, pyro and... yeah. Let's see what this does. So, this game does not follow the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Oh, I killed my man. Alright. <laughs> I sacked my flaming soldier for a rat. A dead rat. So, this game was created before things got underway. Simon's gonna kill me. Wow. Who would have thought? And so the rules are completely different. Like, whatever you thought about, you knew about Yu-Gi-Oh. Just, the attack points are the same, the defense points are the same, and a lot's different. Is that a thunder? No, it's King Fog. Of course it is. So we got a zombie and a plant. I believe... I got a pumpkin. Alright. Yeah, there we go. So the rules of, of uh, summoning things and fusion summoning things are very particular. However, it's a core mechanic of the game, and you kind of can't get through the game without it. Because we're going to have a very, very special, uh, double-headed friend with the power of lightning, and he's gonna be our best friend for a good long while. What the hell is this? 
a lucky trinket! Thin and reedy creature. Okay, that's cool. So a lot of effect- you'll notice also, all the monsters are vanillas. They're all... There's no effects. Every monster is a monster on its own, and the only things that can really flu cause fluctuations in attack and defense outside of equip spells and magic stuff are the Guardian Stars, which are, you know, if you know a little bit about astrology, you'll no find it's really important. However, all you gotta remember is Pluto beats Neptune, and Pluto sucks against Uranus, I believe. There's gonna be other ones that are probably important, Sun beats Moon, uh... Your, your dark monsters, which are largely gonna be moon, will get fricked by sun monsters, so... Some a good thing to know. Ooh, okay. I got a strat. I got a plan for you. Simon. So, you'll remember, you may remember I played Duelist of the Roses, which is kind of like a weird sequel to this game. And you'll remember Simon Muran was Simon McMuran <laughs> in that game. So we're gonna beat him, however, the beginning of the game is definitely a slow burn. You wanna understand how to build your big cards. We got a fire. Okay, I don't see a fusion here. So what we're gonna do is get this bug out with an equip spell that's very suited to him. Yeah, that's right. And Simon's got really, really weak monsters in general, and I feel like we can destroy him. So this may be game, depending. Yep, it's Queen's Double. Oh, that's perfect. We're gonna see a lot of weak monsters like that. Which I kinda like, you know, you really get the sense that you're building out your deck. And because of the forest, we beat him with Man Eater Bug. See, we don't need Man Eater Bug's effect to make it badass. We did it with an equip spell and a field spell. Alright, okay, so you're gonna find out exactly why I got this game via a mod. So, everything about this game is the same in this mod. However, you'll notice I got Haniwa, and I got Haniwa, and I got Right Arm of the Forbidden One, and you'll notice what's happening here, right? So, in the original game, you get one. This is a game called Mod 15. The entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories is exactly the same, however, when you beat someone, you get 15 cards instead of one. Now, that may seem greedy and ridiculous, however, what's important, twould seem, I taught you well. You've grown strong. You've won fair and square, as promised you may go. I have nothing more to say. Okay, now don't go back there, because he's gonna put you in bed, so, I believe. So, uh, don't do that. We're gonna go to the duel ground and say hi to some friends. I'm gonna say hi to my friends. And this will be interesting. Uh, so... Basically, in the later game, you need some very specific cards if you're gonna even stand a fighting chance against surviving and beating the game. And a lot of it just involves free duel, which is where you can fight people you fought before, and you'll have to essentially grind on them, getting cards again and again and again. And sometimes it's really tedious, like you'll need to wait for like 30th somethings time, the 50 somethings time. So, this is just gonna trim the fat and make it more fun. So, let's say hi to Taya. I've been waiting for you, Dave. Her name is actually Tayana. Uh, which, kid me, when I played this game when I was real young, I thought her name was Tina. <laughs> T-E-A, as in T, and then Na. Jonah was also here a few minutes ago, but he's gone also. How about a duel? Yeah, let's duel our friend. I'm gonna play this very casually. There are a lot of people you do not need to duel. However, dueling is fun. So let's take a look at the haul we got from Simon. Turo we got Griggle. Okay, I do kind of like having Shadow Spectre and Griggle. Haniwa, okay, I, there's some types that I kind of want to just get rid of. We don't need fairies. Actually, I could have used that fairy. <laughs> that was the weather report. Okay, uh... We don't have a beast. Oh, no, we do have a beast. Oh, frick. So you'll find that certain types have an affinity for each other. And I think what I want to do, even though we they kind of came through for us, we're going to get rid of our bugs, because we don't need them. And then we're also going to get rid of forest, because we definitely don't need that. And laser cannon armor. So now we're just going to fill it with plants, rocks, machines. I'll throw a zombie in there for good measure. Another plant. And... Frick it! No, 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 I'm not gonna put Exodia in there. We did get- that's funny, we got Right Arm the Forbidden One. <laughs> He's just kinda hanging out. 
So you do get a win condition if you have in hand all five pieces of Exodia, which kind of uh, can suck if you have all four pieces and you don't want to fuse to get rid of monsters, burn through monsters. Okay, we'll put weather control back. And uh, we're, it's really not a big deal. The more important things are dragons. So once people start giving us dragons, that's going to be real important. I love this game so much. It has a lot of nostalgia for me, and so I'm so glad to be playing it with y'all. Okay, we don't need twin long rods. I think you can fuse with a, another fairy, so I kind of want to keep you in hand. Let's fuse. Let's see what fire and shadow specter does. Hey, he's still weak as shit. All right. Okay, go fire reaper. I could probably turn that into a pumpkin. I could turn it into. Oh, oh, we got a pumpkin. We got a pumpkin right here. Never mind. We got wood. So zombie, weak zombie plus weak plant equals wood remains plus a- Oh! I did that wrong. Okay, apparently wood remains plus this rat. That should have totally made pumpkin. Alright, whatever. Okay, never mind. I guess there are things I need to learn about the game. <laughs> okay, but we got Fire Reaper. He's another zombie. Yeah, I probably should have just fused up with him. But wood remains plus a plant, I guess, makes pumpkin. I guess you can't double up on zombies. So the order does matter. Wow. I'm learning things. Again, it's not- that's not gonna- the pumpkin is not gonna be our main fusion. Alright, you're a fairy, right? No, you're a warrior. Uh, yeah, I just wanna burn through some of these cards. Bye, weather report. I love his design so much. But having a thousand attack is pretty sweet. And at this point, we just kinda wanna burn through. Kill our friends. Beginning of the game's a little slow, uh, but we'll be seeing more iconic cards later on. But this is just gonna be a fun little beginning, and this is gonna be a, a nice little romp. Ex until it gets stressful, because it will get stressful, and I will start losing a lot. However, let's not think about that right now. Hey, you know what, I, what, what would be really cool right now? A big warrior dr uh, zombie... maybe? Can this make a cyber soldier? Oh no. Oh, I killed my skeleton. Alright, good to know, good to know, we had a- oh, frick, I didn't see that. Okay, I'm playing very poorly just because I'm not paying attention. Key mace, why you gotta be like that? Supporter in the shadows is really carrying it- carrying us right now. I feel so bad for supporter in the shadows, it's two car- it's two little mo little monsters, but the card is only zooming in on one of them. Okay, so... Zombie Warrior, Pumpkin. Right? And Pumpkin? That's how you do it. Alright, <laughs> there we go. See, I still got it. Uh, I'm gonna chance this, uh, cause she's really weak. And this could be a dancing owl for all I know. No, it's Legul. Alright. If I'm correct, that thing can attack directly in the original game. Hey, I feel so bad for the little guy on the right. <laughs> the little blue haired one. <laughs> it's just the redhead. Alright. What kind of warrior is that? It looks like a... I don't know. For all I know, it could have been a fiend. Supporter in the shadows, eh? That is not gonna be a card we're gonna hang on to. Doesn't even fit with my main fusions. Oh, look at you, attacking my Jinzo number seven. If I'm correct, Jinzo isn't even a card in this game, which is kind of weird. Alright, so we have crap. We have, like, basically nothing good in our hand. Probably some of this fuses, but I, I don't really care about any of this. We, we just had a lot of monsters that make for good fusion materials, but none that really are. But it doesn't matter, because we're gonna beat Teana, or Taya, <laughs> because we got the pumpkin. I'll never forget one day I was playing this game with my cousin, and we were experimenting with the fusions, and I was putting up a bunch of random stuff. I made the pumpkin, and I killed the pumpkin. I don't remember what I killed it with, but it was gone. Just kind of, kind of like how I killed Wood Remains over there with the zombie rat. Oh, I didn't even look. I didn't even look at all the cards. Okay, so if we go outside after beating her, she, act she actually is like, Hey, yo, there's a festival going on at the plaza. Come on, let's check it out. I bet we'll find Jonah there. So I wonder if your friends know that you're the prince. I actually forgot. I think they know your little secret. But what your guy does is that you know, the prince likes to run around as a commoner to play card games. <laughs> a lot of people around. Look, 
The mages are about to start their pro procession. I thought that said procreation and I got very concerned for a second. Awesome. But kind of spooky too. This must be the work of that detestable high mage, Hai Sheen. And fun fact, now that you've seen it written out, I used to call this man Hessian. So if I do that, just know that's the six-year-old David talking. When I was a kid, it used to be more wholesome. Even the attitude of the mages have changed for the worse. The music is so good in this game, too. What's our world coming to? Alright, it's coming to a head. Wanna go someplace else? Alright, okay. Look, it's Jono. I can't believe it, but he's dueling over there. Yeah, we got Joey Wheeler! Or Jono in ancient Egypt. I... I lost! <laughs> Fucking Kaiba. I believe I've wasted my efforts on an insignificant speck. Say what? Forgive my choice of words. You were mildly entertaining. Hey, Jono! Diana and Dave! What's, what's going on? What do you think? Ain't it obvious? I'm a Brooklyn in ancient Egypt! You lost. Don't be so blunt. I didn't lose. I had a setback. I grow weary of this insect. Is there not one among you who is worthy of my attention? Well, thank God Obelisk the Tormentor wasn't a thing at this point. Man, the noise of this... The noise of this guy. This guy. Okay, it's not this. So I can't go full Brooklyn with him. It's gonna be weird. Dave, why don't you challenge him? Wow, Tiana, why don't you challenge him? I bet that key mace could really slap him upside the head. After all, you're the best duelist I've ever seen. I bet you can beat him. All right, fine. Let's just beat Kaiba right now. His name, he goes by Seto in ancient Egypt. Yeah, Dave, show it. Show him who's the boss around he is. Hello, are you my next victim? Let's duel. I hope you're better than the last one. Come, let us duel. Master Seto, Master Haishin calls for you. I see. So be it. The duel is postponed. Am I correct in assuming that you frequent the town's dual field? That's right. Then wait there. I shall grace you with a visit. Seto is my name. Remember it. Can you believe that guy? A mage with an attitude. Yeah, a real charmer. I got a feeling Dave will put him in his place, won't you, buddy? Come on, let's look around and then head for the dual field. J your accent, Jono, is very strange for this ancient Egyptian thing, you know, whatever. As long as we're not too loud and wake up Imhotep, he's a bit on, you know, he's a bit ornery when he wakes up. Jeez, who did that mage think he is? <laughs> I like the ima to imagine that Joey was just talking about him the whole time, Jono. I gotta admit, he was real tough. How about a game till that guy comes back? Yeah, dude! Alright, let's do it! I may have lost the last game, but I ain't lost my touch. Okay, yeah, let's see the the haul we got from Tiana. Okay, we got Kribo! Look at that little guy! Oh, he's iconic! Oh, it's so cool! Because he's an effect monster, he actually gets a little bit of van vanilla text. By itself, it may not seem like much, but in the dark, it attacks in numbers as a formidable force. <laughs> Woo! I always loved Kribo's sound in the thing. Oh, House of Adhesive Type! 500 or lower. Actually, I think we're already outside the point where this was useful. Dancing Elf, though, I will happily take. Let's get rid of Lucky Trinket. Oh, bye! You're really cute, but uh, we don't need you. Mio Toko! Oh, he looks cool, too. Whatever. We don't need two of him. We got a Dancing Elf and a Dancing Elf. Swordsman from a distant land. Oh, we, yeah, he's fine. We got freaking Sekiro over there. Oh, hey! My buddy! Yeah, get out of here, Doron! Uh, although he's kind of useful, actually, but, you know, it's fine. And Oguchi, I turned into something. I don't remember what I turned him into, but let's... We don't need you. Oguchi! We have a lot of Oguchis. Okay, fine. I'll keep one. Or is it Uguchi? It might be Uguchi. But you know what's Gucci? My skills! <laughs> All right. Oh, thank frick. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? We could do a lot of things right now. But I think, because it's Joey, 
I'm gonna set up for some freaky, some freaky stuff. I have a feeling he's gonna attack her. Oh my god. Oh, look at you! So Joey's whipping out some sk- Uh, with, uh why? Okay, fine. That, that works for me. You know, in fact, let's just, uh, we're gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna kill that thing. <laughs> I didn't know Joey fused- Jonah fused. Oh, stop doing that! Oh, okay, alright, you gonna put that in defense too? Oh no. <laughs> he felt it with this one. Okay, bye supporter in the shadows, you will be missed. Thanks for supporting me from the shadows. Alright, um, we're gonna get rid of all this crap. Because what we really want is Mooka Mooka and Dancing Elf together. Do not fuse, you two. Do not fuse! Oh no, I f oh, please? Yes! Oh wow, that was like a lot. Anyway, we just need a rock and a girl, and that can make gets you mystical sand, which is a pretty big beater. Also, she looked good. I believe you can hold square to enter a cinematic, which I will show. I don't know if I want to show it right now. I'll show it in a sec. Uh, okay. Let me do this right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> You're gonna get me a big pumpkin. See, Skull Serpent already putting in work for the team. Love it. Okay, this is actually a really good opening. The fact that we have these two on the field is really awesome. And so if you just know the tricks with fusion, you're, you're in good shape. Of course, none of this will matter once we get a thunder, a couple thunders, a couple dragons, and really that's it. And we'll be able to hold on to a lot of these other guys, because dragons plus uh, machines, dragons plus zombies, dragons plus plants, like, it it's gonna be very great. Once we get dragons, they can edge out the warriors and stuff, stuff we don't need. Oh no! Oh, come on, wow. Alright, at least I didn't lose anything off that. I need to stop button mashing because sometimes I'm not looking at the Guardian Stars. It would benefit me to learn them, but I just always forget them. I always forget. I, I do have the game. I, I probably still have the manual kicking around somewhere. So we got a dragon zombie. No, I want a cyber soldier. <laughs> It's stronger than a- uh, sorry, not, did I say dragon zombie? I meant to say a uh, zombie warrior. Uh, you can beat this, right? Yeah, it's a freaking Lagool! Hey, you, you big Lagool! Alright, we didn't even need the cyber soldier, but whatever. I believe that thing's name actually got renamed to kinetic soldier, unless it's just a different monster entirely. Okay, let's see what we got. So, beating Jono... Please, hot the trick, Bean's hand, time wizard. Time wizard! Oh no! Oh yes! Yes, I saw that! Okay, we got a card called Yamato Dragon Scroll. I'm very happy to see that, because it's a dragon. Even though it's just a scroll. Jeez, Dave, you whipped me! You know you are good! You're good! Do me a favor and beat that mage, will ya? There he is, he's big. <laughs> Look at that. He's even got his own groupies. Do me a favor and whip the guy. <laughs> I like the idea that he's just not subtly saying this at all. Do it, Dave. Hi, Seto. I do not know how good you are, but I hope you will entertain me. I will have you know that I enjoy a good game. Do not disappoint me. Anyway, um, so this is Seto, and you're going to notice a big difference. <laughs> okay, so we want... We don't want Sojan. Oh, we got La La Leon! Oh, getting access to my friends! Okay, bye supporter in the- Oh, I'm gonna miss you! A cute elf that assists against enemies. Oh, while remaining hidden from sight. Okay, bye. Gotta get rid of that. I fused to make a Fire Reaper and I didn't even realize I had one in one card. Bye. We don't need so much fire. I didn't even get a beast that I could make Flame Cerberus with. However, it doesn't matter. We got- Yamato Dragon, which we need. I'll take an Abyss Flower. Her Kale is just... yeah, we don't need you. We need La La Leon though, so boom. That's gonna be great. Hot the trick? Hot the trick. Oh, okay, great. It's just dra dra uh, Dragon Piper. Um, Arm Ninja? No, okay, good. Mech Mole Zombie I kinda wanna get. 
Neo Toko, goodbye. Yeah, I kind of want to put the zombie in. Okay, so with this, we got a shot. Especially if that La La Leon rolls around. And the Yam Yamato dragon is going to be very handy. Okay. So you want to keep raw. Okay, I like having a, a zombie, a rock, and a plant. But if there's anything worth getting rid of... Oh, I can make a pumpkin, I think. Oh, that was not a pumpkin. Okay, great. Oh, <laughs> Griggle, you're not gonna survive. So Seto is a little bit of a step up from everyone else we've faced. And he's got his own music, which is great. Okay, so he's playing pretty modestly right now. Maybe we'll be in, maybe we'll luck out. <laughs> we already have a mystical sand here. So I want to keep that in, in the back. But uh, for not, right now, I'm just going to take care of his field. Because if he doesn't have anything that can out my abyss flower, then that's fine. <laughs> abyss flower looks drugged. <laughs> I want to party with abyss flower. Oh, I never did this. Uh, left, right. Oh, sorry. Right, left. Right, right, right. Okay, great. <laughs> That's just to sync up the audio. Okay. Um, I believe I can make a stone ghost and... What's her face? So that's fine. Should still make mystical sand. Even just a weak rock and that makes mix mystical sand. So, um... This should kill you? Wow! Seto's got nothing! So far he's just as weak as Simon was. Oh, he's not picking the first card. What do you got? Oh, that's a Uranus. Uranus is usually rock monsters. Weather control. Weather patrol. Um, I, I just love weather patrol. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know that those two fused. Okay. Haniwa. Yeah, they're usually rocks. You can kind of get little things here, here and there. I believe Mystical Sand's uh, other guardian star is Pluto. No, no, it's not. It's Saturn. Never mind. I meant to say Uranus, but whatever. Oh! Got my controller! This battle actually has me a little bit unnerved. He's really being a pushover right now. I thought he was going to be tougher than this, but I think we won. <laughs> I straight up think we just won. And I couldn't even bring out the guns. Okay. Zombie warrior it is. I could theoretically have made a pumpkin, but, uh, whatever. Not a big deal. Kill it! Alright, we just won. <laughs> Alright, Abyss Flower coming in clutch, along with the Mystical Sand. Okay, yeah, he was, honestly, Abyss Flower- Oh, wow, you're not dead? Okay. Weather Control! You got fucked by a snowman, Skaba. I like how I was about to say Seto, and I went to say Kaiba, and that was wrong. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got Bear Trap. Oh, we got Bear Trap? Man-eating plant. Okay, we got a lot of plants. Oh, we got the Kamu, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, that's good. Hamburger recipe. <laughs> I need to know what makes Hungry Burger. Because the rituals are a lot more specific these days. I, I cannot believe I lost. But, wait a moment, you are... Hmm, I see. Enough, that is all for today. I have a feeling our paths will cross elsewhere. Till then, I bid you farewell. So that was Seto basically realizing you were the prince. Because he's good like that, I guess, and everyone else is a moron. You did it! Dave. <laughs> did you see the look on his face? You were great! Dave, you're really just too good! I bid you farewell. Ha! What a loser! Dave, well, what now? Still got some time? Play. <laughs> okay, why don't we play a quick... Uh, I want to talk to someone else. Okay, catch you later. You did pretty good back there. You know, maybe I'll be as good as you. Okay, yeah. Uh, get out of my face. That was some duel. I never saw anything like that before. How's about giving me a chance? Come on, let's play a game. Even though, if I ever met a man like you asking me to play a game, I would probably run into the hills screaming, I would love to play a game! Duel! Okay, let's play. Alright. 
I believe his name is Villager 1 or 2 or something like that. Anywho, let's see what else we got in case there's anything funky going on here. A card with ingredients for making a delicious hamburger. Do you care to tell me the ingredients or am I supposed to guess? Jesus, okay. Uh, you can look these up, but uh, that's weird. I thought they tell you on the, the card. Uh, whatever. We got a little Chimera. Oh, brings me back to the starter deck days. Oh man, question of the day. What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Oh, 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 we need that. We need that and we need this. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, and we got Bear Trap. That's crazy. For this early in the game, that's gonna be very useful. Okay, uh, so we're gonna play, we're gonna, I'm gonna fix up the deck off screen, but this is a great place to end this off. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, did I say what your favorite card was for the question of the day? Yeah, let's leave it at that. Uh, I would tell you mine, but I can't think of it right now. But it's probably a certain someone that we're going to run into later, much later on in this game. This game is actually the reason why my favorite card is the card that it is. So, I'll keep that in waiting. But for now, I'm going to end this off here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Blade Cross, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. For now, this is Dave out. Peace out. Later.